What's good guys, it's Joseph, and today we're going to be recreating that uh, depth of field type effect that was in the beginning of the video. It's going to be really quick, it's going to be really easy, it's 100% After Effects, so you don't have to worry about buying any you know third party plugins and stuff like that. You're going to be able to create this in After Effects without having to do anything but follow along. So let's go ahead and get started. I got a, I made a you know new composition that's tutorial. Um, I drugged my clip in here, dragged my clip in here, whatever. Um, and so we're just going to go ahead and show you how to do the depth of field um, and show you how to animate it a little bit. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I got the clip. I'm going to go ahead and what the first thing I want to do is make a solid on top of your clip. Pressing Control Y, you know, black solid, press OK. And then what you're going to want to do is add a um, gradient ramp on there. So when you got the gradient ramp, I'm going to go ahead and turn this into a radial. So what this is doing, every like each part of this that is black or darker than white, it's going to make the um, blur, like there's not going to be blur there. And as it gets gradually more white, that's where there's going to be more blur. So if I turn this off so I can see where my, so I can see the clip under it, you can still see your marker right here. I'm just going to go ahead and put it like on my, the head or like the neck area or like the top of my character right here. And then what I'm going to do is turn this back on and you can kind of see there's not a lot of space for the black. So if you make a marker, the closer you get to the black, the more white there is, the further away, the more you get. So I kind of had mine kind of like almost towards the corner right here. So everything that's white is going to be blurry. And obviously the more white and the more blurry it's going to look. And so then I'm just going to go ahead and turn this off. I'm going to pre-compose this layer. And then I'm going to name it depth, depth Map. And then move, at, move all attributes into the composition. And you can always go back and you can edit this however you want. And so now the next thing what, what I want to do is I'm going to make a new adjustment layer. Control-Alt-Y. And then you're going to want to use... And this right here is the uh, FX, FX console from Video Copilot. It's basically like going to your FX and presets tab, putting in the whatever plugin you're going to use. We're going to be using camera lens blur. Um, it comes with After Effects, so you don't have to worry about that. If you put the uh, blur radius up, obviously it's going to make your whole clip blurry. So that's not what we're going to. That's not what we're looking for right here. We want it to be, you know, parented sort of to the this depth map right here. And the way we do that is you go to blur map right here, and you go to none. You can just uh, click depth map. And so now, if I turn the blur radius up. It is, um, it's going to make, you know, every part around whatever is this blurry. And so even if I don't like how it's looking, I can always go back and, you know, move this thing around and get a completely different look than I had before. And if you really wanted to, you can actually animate this by making a keyframe on the end of ramp. And you can make it move forward and away. I didn't actually do that in my tutorial. Um, basically what I just did, I'm going to shut this so I can work with it a little bit. Because um, when I have it animating, sometimes it messes up my recording. It's really weird. You can make a keyframe for the blur radius at the beginning. And then you can go forward in time and then just turn it, you know, turn it down, back down to zero. And so if I turn this on, you can kind of see if I go in the middle of it. It's kind of just like animating through and so it's going from blurry to not and that's what I did in the beginning of the video and so that's really it every part that's here black is gonna be you know crystal clear and then as it gets more white um, it's gonna be more blurry so that's pretty much how I did the effect um, if you guys have any questions or anything I think this is a really cool effect you can use in a certain style of edit and so I really recommend you guys you know add it in there add it into your arsenal um, if you have any questions, always comment down below. My DMs are open on Twitter. I try to answer every DM on Twitter. I don't answer every comment, um, but I do read them all. So if you guys got to contact me, Twitter is probably the best option. But, uh, you know, leave a like and, and subscribe if this video helped you out. Or if you just want to support me, other than that, 
Hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I'm out. Peace.